funny thing is I'm not wearing a watch. Today we're going to be thrifting at one of my favorite Goodwill locations. It's the one that I frequently call my vintage holy grail store because I've always found so many great vintage pieces there. And this trip was no exception. I have a fantastic haul for you guys at the end of the video. So I'm going to take you in store thrifting with me and then we'll come back here for a thrift haul with some styling of the pieces that I found. If you're new here, I do post new thrifting and secondhand fashion videos every Sunday so you can subscribe and turn on notifications and join us in the comments and like the videos that you like, all the YouTube things. I wanted to let you all know that this week's video is just a little bit different format. I filmed with very minimal talking in the store and I tried to get some different types of shots of how I was thrifting. So please let me know in the comments how you like this format, if it works for you or doesn't, if you think it looks the same anyway. But I wanted to shake it up a little bit this week and see if you guys had any opinions on the format. So now let's go thrifting at Goodwill. We're starting in the women's tops and it seems like this store is always full of really sweet vintage pieces that would be great if you're styling like cottagecore looks. You'll see what I mean here. But I've also found pieces from the 70s and even designer items in this Goodwill. So we'll just see what we find today. Here we go, here's our first find of the day, this cute blouse. And as we go through the store, I'm actually not really gonna be showing you many of the pieces that I actually ended up thrifting. I basically wanted to show you all of the interesting things that I saw and things that I considered, but basically save the best for last at the end of the video in the thrift haul. So just keep that in mind.
love the fabric of this skirt. I'm definitely on board for the psychedelic florals for summer. And I think if they had been shorts, I would have picked it up. I also loved these Leslie Fay pants, but I even double checked with my measuring tape and they were too small. I have had good luck finding vintage dresses at this store in the past. I thought the selection looked okay today. I was really hoping to find some simple summer dresses and there were a few 90s styles that I was really considering. I did take a look over at the purses. $4 is such a steal for their bags, but this was the only one that I considered, but I ended up leaving it behind. So let's head over and take a quick look at the men's section. And now I'm just heading over to the mirrors to take a final look at some of the things I was considering. Like I mentioned, these are all things I considered but didn't end up thrifting. And I'm going to show you a lot more different pieces up here in a moment in the haul. And I liked these dresses, but the size was not quite right. And on this second one, it was a little iffy on the pattern anyway, so I left them behind. This blouse was so cute. I just was afraid I wouldn't get wear out of it compared to some of the other pieces I already have. So I left that as well. And now I'm leaving the Goodwill. Let's see everything I got from this Goodwill. There's actually a lot more than what you saw during the thrift with me that I brought home. I've got about 10 pieces to show you. I was also in store sharing some of the items on my Instagram stories. And I put out a little poll even asking people what they thought if I should thrift certain things or leave it behind, which was really fun. So if you're not already, you can follow me on Instagram for bonus thrift with me content like that. I'll put stuff up like that in my stories from time to time and then save it in my highlights so you you can always go back and thrift with me if you miss it live. And if you did see that, let me know if you voted for something and I ended up thrifting it that day. Everything that I got on this trip happened to be tops, but I am going to style up all these pieces for you and I'll show you kind of how I'm gonna be wearing them as we go through the haul. I brought home this little pastel striped vintage blouse. 
This is a soft cotton poly blend, so just very lightweight and wearable. Of course, the light colors, like it's just a super good basic for summer. Fashion lady. <laughs> Thinking of changing my channel name to Fashion Lady. <laughs> Just kidding. This little knit top, you guys know I love a good like short sleeve knit top. I think they are so cute. And I love how this one has a collar and of course the floral embroidery. It's just, it's super sweet. Unfortunately, right now I don't have like a denim overall or like pinafore style thing, but I do think this would be really, really cute under something like that. I think it'll be fun to style it with some maybe edgier pieces in my wardrobe to kind of like balance out how cutesy and sweet it is. The fun story with this is that there was a little spot here on the front when I brought it up to the register. And I normally don't ask about stuff like this, but I kind of started to mention it to the cashier the, who was a manager at Goodwill. And before I could even ask him if maybe he would do a discount on it, he was like, oh yeah, I gave you that for $1. So I was like, Really happy that I decided to go for it and try to get the spot out. It is still faintly there, but I've only treated it once, so I think I'll be able to get it out. This vintage Leslie Faye, I popped up on Instagram. I was so excited when I saw this piece. This is just something right up my alley with just like a neutral tone, funky print on it. Love how it's already cropped and has the tie front built in, and we've got shoulder pads. It's actually a wrap top, I said it wrong. <laughs> But yeah, I think you probably know that tops like this are just sort of my bread and butter for styling. I love just like an interesting printed blouse that's lightweight. Styling it with just shorts and sandals in the summer is just such an easy go-to look for me. This piece just cracks me up. I think it's so cool and interesting. We've got embroidered watches of all kinds on the front of this denim blouse and like a faux suede collar. It is a good quality piece. It's 100% cotton. All the embroidery and all the details in it are still in really great condition, but this screams like 80s or 90s to me. It's gotta be a vintage piece. Funny story about this piece. I had shared it on Instagram. Like two days later, I got a text from my cousin who lives on the other side of the country in Portland, Oregon, and she saw the exact same top in a vintage shop over there for sale. And she was like, we could be twins. <laughs> Do you think these oversized like vintage denim t shirts when they have some interesting details on them i think they're a fun little statement piece to throw on as like sort of a shacket an extra layer over your like tank top and shorts in the summer the funny thing is i'm not wearing a watch <laughs> this piece i also <laughs> like put on instagram and actually like i asked people if they were obsessed or disgusted and most people said they were obsessed like most people like this and then i got a message from my friend who said she definitely wanted it. I'm not gonna style this one up because it's gonna go to my friend, but I do think it'd be just super cute styling it even with just with like jeans and a pair of loafers, just really simple and letting the top really shine. So we've got all these different little dog breeds embroidered inside their own little hearts. There's one on each sleeve and one on the back. The buttons are embroidered in beaded hearts. And then these little dangling beads and sequins, they're heart-shaped sequins on the sleeves and on the bottom. Like, there's just so many cute details on this piece. I think this little Yorkie is my favorite. <laughs> but there's no Corgi on here, so. We've been talking on this channel about checking out the men's section for vintage sweaters. That's been a thing of mine lately and polos and stuff like that. So I did find a like dad sweater that I absolutely love. I'm so excited about this. The only downside is it's acrylic instead of cotton. If you can find the 100% cotton ones, like they are just the best. So very soft and cozy. Yeah, this one just love the geometric prints and the neutral tones. We've got black and brown together, which is something I love to wear. This one's either gonna get a lot of wear just around the house at the end of the day. I get cold, would love to throw on a sweater. Other than that, it's gonna be such a fun ball piece to style. I've also been obsessed with vintage sweatshirts. If I can find interesting graphics, all the better. This one is one of the coolest ones I've found recently. This one is 100% cotton and it's got this like thick, puffy print on it. And I didn't look up this place. It looks like a resort in Quebec to me because of the French wording on it obviously and the sweatshirt is made in Canada so that's my best guess right now. I 
grabbed this Golden Girls long sleeve. I have kind of wanted something with Golden Girls on it for a while. Like I have a bunch of stuff I've hearted on Etsy that I've thought about ordering. An oversized long sleeve like this is actually pretty fun for me to style because I can do like a bra tuck and give it a little bit of a cropped look. And something about the look of long sleeves with shorts in the summer is just a combination that I really love. By the way, which Golden Girl are you? I think I identify the most with Dorothy, but Fashion wise, I'm a bit of a Blanche and I'm like really thinking about this now. <laughs> Which golden girl am I? <laughs> this is important to know. <laughs> Ladies, windbreakers are kind of like having a moment it seems like, especially bright colored and vintage ones. So I was really excited to see this cool printed members only windbreaker. It looks to me like it's a more contemporary one, but if you know anything about members only pieces, let me know if you agree or disagree if it's like an 80s piece or something like very recent. It is an amazing condition either way. We've got the logo on the back hood and up on the front. And when I popped this one up on Instagram, this one was really popular. A lot of people really thought I should thrift it and I definitely did. I am really excited about this t-shirt. I'm curious to know what you guys think. If you think it's cool, I definitely do, but um, yeah, you may not. <laughs> this is like a vintage tee from the Great Smoky Mountains and it just has this cute little wildlife scene on it. The tee itself is like a grayscale stripe with a blue ringer. And yeah, for me personally, just I can't go wrong with an oversized vintage tee that looks cute. You know me, I just can't resist a vintage t-shirt. <laughs> Thank you for coming thrifting with me at this Goodwill, one of my all time favorite spots. Hope you enjoyed seeing my finds and the styling portion. Please let me know in the comments, how did you like the format of this video? I filmed without talking in store. I'm playing around with different formats. Really love to know what you guys think, what you like to see, what works the best for you. And I'm happy to continue to like ship things around or even just have a variety of options on this channel. So if you don't mind, leave me a comment about that. I've got lots more great thrifting content coming up for you on this channel, so please subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys again soon for the next video. Two days later, she texted me, and how do I, I started telling it correctly, and now I can't. <laughs> okay, let me redo that. <clears throat> um, how would I style this? So yeah, obviously we've got all these little, so obviously we, <laughs> the French and English mix on here. Wait, what does it say? <clears throat> Not English. I grabbed this, like, I grabbed this Golden Girls printed. <sighs> this is gonna sound weird. Oh, there's a cute little squirrel out there. My dog must be going nuts. It's the squirrel is digging in his yard. My dog must hate this. Wow, he's really like furiously digging up the garden. Nature. <laughs> what you guys really like the best, why am I talking so weird? <laughs>